Welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Today we're looking at part three of building a PC. Last time we left off with installing the power supply and the power connectors. Today we're doing the finishing touches with installing the video card and the hard drives. Last time I had already a video card, which is the one I'm going to be using, the 5770. But some cards use more than one power connector, but they all install on the PCI Express slots, those blue ones. Usually the first blue one closest to the CPU, that's your X16. The other one further away usually runs at 8x, okay, for dual uh, GPUs, for example. Here's an example slot, and you have to align that. The notch is there at the bottom of that slot with the blue uh, PCI Express on the board. So that's what I've done. I've got it lined up and ready to go. And it's just a matter of making sure that you, you, you make sure that if this is a dual slot card, so it's really wide, that you have dual openings at the back ready, and then you just firmly insert it there. And then, of course, fasten it with a screw to the case because you don't want it dangling there. And, um, and then connect the two power connectors in this case. The other card that I had uses one six pin this example here shows you that this card uses two connectors, one 6-pin PCI Express and another 8-pin. This is a different card. I won't be using this in my system, but I thought I'd use this as an example so you can see. Okay, So different cards have different power requirements. It might have different uh, uh, connectors. Now, installing a DVD drive on this case is simple. You have the opening on the front of the case ready to go. You slide your DVD drive and connect the hardware that it came with the case. This one's a toolless design. You just clip it on and close it. Some DVD drives require you to just put in two screws on either side. Same thing for the hard drive. Depending on the case that you get, you might have to install some hardware there to attach it, fasten it on, and then attach the two screws on either side of the uh, hard drive on the cage here, on the side, so that way it holds it in place. Okay, so depends on the on the system that you get, but the bottom line is you still need to connect the four screws, two on either side. Same thing here for an SSD drive. I've got a cage in here, a bracket that supports SSD. That's what I'm going to be using in this system. I'll just slide it out here, put in the SSD drive. Comes with four screws already, the SSD drive. So I'll just connect it to that and then put it back in there and hold it in place with the four thumb screws. Power connector is the same for a regular three and a half inch. SATA drive, so I'll just connect the power connector here to the uh, SSD, and the uh, SATA data connector here is also the same as you would use for a regular SATA hard drive, so that doesn't really change. Here's the system, how it looks, finished, ready to go. On my next review, we'll be overclocking, testing the Intel Core i5-661 that's installed in the system with this exact hardware that you're looking at right now, okay? So here's the system specs for the uh, next review that I'll be doing so that uh, you know what's coming up and uh, basically we'll be um, testing how much we can get out of it it's a new CPU and if you have any more questions please visit my forum okay and uh, post your questions there I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching